Okay, in this section, we're gonna take and start covering some general concepts for World at War 85. We're not gonna go over everything involved in the general concepts section because a lot of it's gonna be covered in different videos later on through the series. When you look at World at War 85, you're gonna find that the game comes with a lot of different types of counters, whether they're admin or unit counters. We're gonna get into the admin counters later, but I wanted to take this moment to take and address the unit counters and kind of go over the basics of what all the stuff on the counters represents. One of the first things that you're going to notice is that unit counters have a color band across the center of them and this is going to associate the unit with a formation and a card so you can tell what units are grouped together. Now if this band is gray instead of one of the other different colors, this means that the unit is actually an attachment and isn't part of a formation in and of itself, but can be attached to other different formations of different colors. Also, when you look at the backs of the counters, you can tell whether or not it's a one or a two-step unit. If it's a two-step unit, you're gonna have a white stripe across the back of it, representing that this is its reduced side, or it'll just say one-step unit. You'll also notice that around the counter, it's got a whole lot of different numbers in the different corners. And one of the things that you need to keep in mind is that these numbers representing firepower and assault factors and all that are color coded. We'll get into what all the different colors represent, but just keep that in mind as we're going across all these numbers now. When you look at the top left of a unit counter, this is where you're going to find its AP or its armor piercing firepower. Now starting left to right, these numbers represent the range, the number of dice to be thrown, and the to hit number that you're looking for when making an armor piercing attack. When you look at the top right of the counter, this is its HE firepower. This is what you're going to use when you're firing at soft targets like infantry. It's going to operate on the same principles of your AP firepower in the fact that you're going to have a range, number of dice, and a to hit number. When looking at the bottom left of the counter, this is where you're going to find the unit's armor value. You'll see a set of numbers, and these are gonna operate kind of similar to how your AP and HE work, with the exception that you're obviously not going to have a range there. It's going to give you a number of dice to be thrown and a to hit number that you're looking for. If, however, you do not have a set of numbers here, but instead you have just the letter S, that means that this unit is soft and it represents units like infantry again. When you look at the bottom right of the counter, this is where you find its assault firepower, and this is gonna be used in close combat or close range combat. And again, it's gonna operate very similar to how our other numbers have worked in the fact that it's going to give you a number of dice to be thrown, and again, your to hit number that you're looking for. When you look at the very bottom center of the counter, that's going to be your movement factor. It'll give you a number representing the amount of hexes that the unit can take and travel, or you might have a letter here representing a special type of movement like flying or being towed that we'll cover at a later point. 